Hello, you're watching Rock Paper Shotgun and I'm Alice and we're playing Mega Aquarium today which is basically Zoo Tycoon but with fish and I'm a massive lover of Planet Coaster and this is right up my street. Instead of roller coasters, I build tanks and I have to make sure all my fish are happy and all my staff are happy and make sure everything is clean and tidy and working well. So as you can see here, I've got many tanks. I've played about two hours of it already and I am ready to choose my new research. So you have two different branches of research. You have ecology and you have science. Ecology is all your fishies and your animals and your crustaceans and stuff. And science is your filters, your heaters and bits and bobs like that. You have objectives given to you by the game and you also have side objectives that are given to you and that's about as far as I've got at the moment. I'm still unlocking stuff and I'm still working my way through it. Each fish has their own quality. This fish here doesn't like lights, likes caves and is a shoaler. This fish here will eat starfish and is armoured. So also he's a wimp so he can't be housed with a bully. So a bully fish and wimp fish. Some fish don't like being put in with their own species and I'm gonna go for the squirrel fish. So I'm researching the squirrel fish down here in the bottom left and I'm research I've got science points here but I've got nothing and this is Al's Aquarium. My prestige is currently uh, uh, dropping. I'm not very good at keeping my prestige up but I need that to get to the next area. As you can see, this tank has low water quality and it, this is its pump area around here, which is weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game so that the fish don't die, because that would be bad. And I'm going to use a power combi instead of a normal, a normal one. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to buy a power combi because it has a filter and a heater on it. Um, so that should... Oh, it doesn't... Has that ruined it more? Oh, it's so neat. Okay. Okay, I think it might be too hot now. If I get rid of that and add another filter. No, I'll add a power filter. So I've just unlocked a really cool new little crustacean dude who I'm excited about because he and himself is good at filtering water and he doesn't need feeding. So, but the problem is I cannot put him in with an eel. Where's my eel? An eel because they will probably eat crustaceans size one or less so our little dude our blue knuckle hermit crab is actually a size two so the, the eel and the hermit crab should do okay but when there's the eel grows up that's when we we'll probably have the problems i'm currently trying to sort out this massive tank here it's a lagoon tank so it's deeper than these little ones i'm trying to get my head around these pumps which you put in a separate area to this tank so this is now its own little pump room and i can put a door in so that it's staff only as you can see, I've unlocked a few different types of food. I've unlocked a broom stand to sweep up all the cans that my people just leave lying around, which is very rude, I think. But, you know, whatever, what can I do? I'm going to put my little crustacean dude in here because I think he's so cute. Maybe a couple. Okay, I can put a flame angel fish in, but the flame angel fish doesn't like people of its own kind, fish of its own kind. I'll put some soldier fish in there because they're all right. Maybe a royal grammar. And then I'm going to put a few more bits and bobs in here and I'm going to paint it. So I've just unlocked this new painting thing, which just means that I can just paint stuff, which is cool because I had just blue everywhere before, but now I can actually paint my paint my aquarium and make it look pretty, pretty dandy. So I'm going to put some food bits in here as well to make sure my fish don't die. I put that in there and I put, oh, I put this in here. So Mega Aquarium is basically everything I love in a game and including cute fish. There's not much that I don't like in terms of management and building games. So this is really me. This is really me. Working up to objectives and stuff and making things better. Oh, they can't get through there if I put that there. Ooh. No, I don't want to move the wall. I want to move the station. I have to make this room a bit bigger, I think. I have these quite cool little things down here, these nice little decorations that are themed um, and I got that through doing a task that someone sent me because usually you just have plants and rocks but I managed to unlock that which is quite cool. Look it's all wooden. Oh, It's not very professional looking but it, it's you know it's nice. Oh I keep really getting close to accumulating enough prestige and then it just keeps going down again. 
Why? Have I got some fish dying somewhere? No. Do I need to, I think I need to hire some more people. Sven likes to understand how things work. Has applications in both technology and biology. He's good at feeding and good at fixing. I need someone else who's good at fixing. No. Anna, I don't want to hire you. I'm going to hire Sven. And I'm going to... So you can manage staff to make sure that they have different priorities. So Sven is going to be uh, more of a fixer. And you can zone things as well, but I haven't done any zoning with my aquariums yet. So these talents also determine where they'll be good at working. So they can be fast, they can be charismatic, they can have a lot of empathy. So their talents should match up with the roles that they're good at, but not always. So fitness, speed of 104%. So he's going to be pretty quick at getting around to fixing things, which is handy because we need that. We need some, we need more people like Sven in our lives. So yeah, so I like these little hovering tanks because when I started, all the tanks had to have these connections like these ones do, and it just looks messy. So in your first level, they let you have everything out and about. But as you progress, they're like, oh, people don't like it when they can see the tanks and the heating systems. I don't know if it takes them away from their like, takes them away from the real world. They obviously come to aquariums for a bit of escapism. Oh, I've got my squirrel fish. I don't think we have any. Oh, we've got the cowfish. Okay. So I've got the squirrel fish now. Shola, I'm going to build a tank that's going to have some squirrel fish in it. And so I'm going to extend my aquarium. But I am nearly there with my prestige and it is going up slowly. Okay, I can't move my prices up. But, you know, sometimes you just can't put a price on fun. Oh, I've gone down again. I'm going down again. I was three away. But no, I don't squish. Squish? Another squish. Squirrel fish, I meant. I didn't mean a squish. Oh, it's dropping. It's dropping. I've already seen those. Oh, you don't like the fact that you keep seeing the same things. I'm gonna sell, 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 sell. If it's the same things that they're getting bored of, I'm gonna add four squirrel fish. Yeah. Take that. Look, some new fish. Come and have a look at these new fish, guys. Some new fish. Oh, I like that rocky overhang. Yes. Like that rocky overhang. I like that rocky overhang too. Put a little barrel in there. I'm getting bored of seeing royal grammar. Mmm. Well, they are cute little things, so how dare you? Yes! I've done it! I've accomplished a lot here at Northwoods. When you arrived, it was dilapidated. You restocked it, reinvested your profits, and transformed it into the massive aquarium you see before you. I'm quite impressed with myself. Another job offer has come in, this time from a private collector in Elmshorn, looking for an architect to design their dream aquarium. I'm gonna take on the job in Elmshorn. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna win and smash this. Al's aquarium is going global. Cool. They've already installed a large tank to be the centerpiece of the aquarium. The rest is down to you. Get the aquarium ready to open. Oh my goodness. Ah, how exciting. I'm gonna need... Right, she's good at feeding, fixing, and cleaning. Only fixing. Fixing and feeding and fix. Feeding, fixing, fixing. I'm gonna hire Flick because she's hyperactive. She's quick on her feet. She's eight. She's got eight. That's amazing. Affinity with... Yeah, fixing is good naturally talented just don't let him speak to anybody mm, has a good potential and already knows the basics of feeding so i've recently been playing two point hospital as well um so this reminds me a lot of that with the with the kind of talents and their little bios and how they're going to work together or work with the people that come into your aquarium so this is very this is very me this game planet coaster and theme hospital plus fish is this is mega aquarium just wants to be left to her feeding. Forgetful Kiki. Well, fine. Kiki, you do all the feeding. Flick, you can do a little bit of everything. Fred, do all the fixing. Kiki, don't do any fixing. Flick, don't do any fixing. Kiki does help that out. I don't know if I want him, though. I want someone who cleans. Well, you've got a good feeding skill, so I'm going to hire you. I've probably already hired too many people. Who's that, Rachel? That's fine. And then I'm going to close all windows. And now I'm going to start my... Yeah, so when you <laughs> when the game's pause, everybody just kind of comes in all at once, all together, until the game plays. And you can't play the game until you've done all of these. So the centerpiece has to have different animals, sufficient water quality. I'm going to put a hermit crab in there because they're pretty good at cleaning it. The collector wants to explore the world of corals with your help. Your next objective is to unlock the disco mushroom and add one to your unquarry unquarium your aquarium you should expand your aquarium to increase ecology and science income more tanks and more animals equals more income okay i'm gonna put some benches in so that our people can be happy i'm gonna put some vending machines in 
Oh wait, I need to sell the fish that's in there. That's why. Oh, he's gonna eat fish. I don't want him to eat anything. Thank you very much. I mean, I want him to eat, obviously, but I don't want him to eat my fish. Oh, I've got people going in my rooms. No, get out. Get out. What are you doing? Right. Excuse me, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, these people have no respect for boundaries. They're just like, ooh, this is a new gap. I'm just gonna go through this gap. So, that should make everybody happy. We need a rocky overhang. That's what they like. They need some plants, because that's what they like. And that boosts my science up a wee bit. And they eat green and orange bits and bobs. I've got all my people running around. I've got all these happy people happy. These fish are not happy though. I need to add another water filtering system. How much are we charging people for entry? Fifty-seven dollars for entry to an aquarium. Oof. Oh, nearly there with the with the with the disco mushrooms. I'm excited to see where I can put these. Requires this animal eats zooplankton. That's a new food. Soft coral. Okay, we don't have anyone that is a danger to soft corals. They grow, they need light, they don't have light yet. Oh, look at him. There's a lot of anger in the fish world. They don't like each other very much. They haven't got any starfish yet, but a lot of them don't like starfish. Okay, I'm gonna do the, that. So tank lights, most corals, including the disco mushroom, need light to supplement their food. You'll need to add light to each tank that contains corals. The cost of the light is proportional to the size of the tank. Depth of the tank, size of the tank. So smaller tanks are cheaper to light. Okie dokie. So I need to unlock a tank with, I need to put build a tank with disco mushrooms. Sufficient lighting and sufficient water quality. So this is where it gets exciting. I'm gonna just extend this a bit. And in this, I'm gonna have a look at some new stuff that we have. A floor arrow, that's new. Ah, so I can encourage people to only walk around in a certain way. Ooh, I like that. So people have to go round. Mm-hmm. Very smart. I enjoy that a lot. So what do I have now? Zooplankton dispenser, which is what my little coral needs. And my coral also needs a basic light. Disco mushrooms. Yay. Yay. Oh, day seven. Ding ding ding. Okay, so I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie, but my coral's quite boring. I say quite boring, I mean it's very boring. Look at it, it's just sat there, not doing anything. Oh, you're all getting tired, are you? Oh, people are not obeying the rules. <gasps> Why are you walking around wherever you want? No, people aren't obeying me. Outrageous. Can we all just ignore the arrows? Oh, they can't go back. <gasps> Do I have to shoot it? So, I have to make the pathways narrow enough to only let you go the one way? Is that right? No, because these people are just walking wherever they want. I don't understand this arrow business. Oh, <gasps> I didn't know you could get this close. Look at this, they're fishies. Aw, I want to zoom in right on those corals. Those excite, oh my goodness. I don't think I'm meant to do that. I'm like actually in the tank. I got my little dude down here. He's so cute. I love him. So I'm gonna pause the game quickly. I'm gonna put this dude in here. I'm gonna take out my crustacean because I don't want him to die. I'm gonna take out these fish as well because I also don't want them to die. If they've seen the fish before, they're not interested in seeing it again. So that helps me with my science. So I get 32 science points whenever a guest views this. Yay, skimmers unlocked, whoop whoop. As you expand an aquarium, it's, it becomes easy for some tanks to get missed by your guests. You can get feedback on this via the view rate overlay toggled using the button in the top right of the screen. Ah. Well, well, well. Where's my view rate? There is. 85%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Ah, so this tank's getting missed. Is that where the arrows come in to play? Come on, guys, don't forget to come and see this tank of coolness. Yeah, so it's getting pretty pretty deep into the nitty gritty now, which is exciting. Um, I'm still trying to unlock this deep wall tank, but I think I'm going to leave it about there for today. So. Let me know what you guys think of Mega Aquarium and Al's Aquariums. I mean, there's loads of room for improvement, but I think I've done an all right job, to be honest. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Rock Paper Shotgun for more Let's Plays like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.